Start it back over. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, speaking for myself, like when I am canceling somebody, mm -hmm. I'm doing it with the intent of actually hurting their pockets, right? So let's say, for example, um, boycotting, I'm sorry, boycotting. Uh, if I'm boycotting R. Kelly, right, mm -hmm. I know he can make money off me listening to his music. Mm -hmm. And as a whole, we can, he can make, if he listens to his music, he can make money off that. Mm -hmm. But let's say that he passed away. Um, I mean, just hypothetically, mm -hmm. or like he's in prison, like can he profit off us still listening to this shit? Mm -hmm. They probably um, put that money in his books. I don't know. But if he's know. dead, not really, right? Um, so that's something like it would go to a case. It would go to his kids. But I'm not. I, do, do we punish their their children? <laughs> so let's, okay, so can you separate the legacy from the crimes? Not while they're alive. <laughs> not while they can benefit. That's my philosophy. Well, like Michael Jackson. Like. Okay, all the stuff came up about, you know, with the children, and I actually believe the people that came forward, that's my choice, but um, he's passed away, so me supporting his music doesn't really, it doesn't really do anything. You're choking, so do you, so, just, uh, so you I, don't I believe. I have a question about the Michael Jackson thing, because Michael Jackson has been... His right. whole life, he's been a singer. So, let's say if the allegations true, he was still alive. Do you have the option to listen to young Michael? Or do you feel bad listening to young Michael? Are they two different or people? Or do you feel bad listening to you know, adult Michael? So, <laughs> even... <laughs> okay, wait. So, that's true. <laughs> so, even with the whole evidence and the people saying that they really want that and da da da, you still believe that Michael Jackson did that stuff, even that he's, no, he's dead now, he can't defend himself, he already had a trial, they already said he was innocent. These Aaron Carter I'm saying what I believe personally, um, I mean, if someone disagrees, that's perfectly fine. But what I will say is that even when I was a child, I would have adults in my ear who thought that Michael Jackson had inappropriate relationships with children. And what is the inappropriateness? You know, when we're talking about that, we're talking about him, you know, hanging with them privately, sleeping in the same bed with them, and God knows what happened in that bedroom. And so if we can believe that this was the case, and you know, he had always was kind of um, odd in the sense of like, he didn't really date. I'm gonna, I'm gonna play devil's advocate on that. This is where the, the, the issue come with celebrities and quote unquote normal regular people. If uh, Michael Smojo on the street was your uncle and he was having various children have sleepovers at his house mm -hmm. that was 20 and 30 years younger than him, it would be an issue. You would look at it a certain type of way. It would be funny. But being that Michael Jackson is such a larger than life celebrity, it's kind of like a pass for people like him and R. Kelly it's and things of that nature, if you look at it. Do you understand what I'm saying? It works for all of them. It works for Michael, it works for but Bill Cosby, it works for um, R. Kelly. You There's a need to protect the celebrity uh, uh, because you're so attached So to what about when it's brought up in those moments when they say, oh, well, what about Harvey Weinstein? When they say, okay, well, they're Harvey vilifying the... Got his I mean, got what came to him, though. Mm -hmm. um, and so is a lot of other white folks. Because they feel like they only vilify black men in these instances. How do you feel about that? Um, well, it, I, I would like to believe that. Um, and sometimes that is very true. But um, that's not... I think we're being selective when we say that in particular for now. Because there have been a series of white folks that have been, you know, taken down and removed from office. Or, you know, their jobs and money have been, been damaged. So... I don't know, it seems lucky. We just didn't care because we don't care about these white folks. Ryan? Uh, okay, so first, I feel like we can't group Michael Jackson or R. Kelly. Those are two totally different things that are two totally different cases. Uh, I feel like if I'm for Michael Jackson, doesn't necessarily mean I'm for R. Kelly. Um, second, I also feel like the thing with we vilify blacks and not whites, don't do nothing wrong. If you don't do nothing wrong, you ain't got a reason to, for it to be your day or not, or for them to derain you or take you to court or not. Like, don't do nothing wrong. You ain't got to worry about it being black or white. Like, I feel like that. So I feel like. So you feel like when it comes to crime, right or wrong, right, right, doing right, doing wrong, it shouldn't be based on the color. It should be just based on what it is. I, no, I just feel like I don't have an issue with them saying that, oh, they're not giving, getting Harvey Weinstein, but they're getting all the black people. I feel like if you do the fucking crime, it don't even matter when it comes. It's gonna come down to black and white regardless, so don't do the fucking crime. That's how I feel about that. Again, the other things I think is true, but in the um, the way of the Me Too movement and sexual harassment and sexual um um you know, inappropriateness, whatever, um, 
I think that's been pretty fair. I just think they've been pretty And I've, I've never watched the Cosby show, so he wouldn't have got my money anyway. Um, <laughs> it just wasn't my kind of, it wasn't, I'm from the hood, it wasn't my kind of show. Um, but I also. But, but that, see, when you say, when you say, when you make a statement like that, that's, that doesn't even sound right because I know a lot of people from the hood that, hood. that watched no. the Cosby show. That There's certain shows that transcends class of money. Like, mm -hmm. I know there was people that was poor that way. It's like people, it's like people in the 80s that, the rich people didn't only watch Dynasty. Everyone did. Do you understand what I'm saying? I was more of like a Family Matters, the Parenthood, <laughs> more of that kind of more like. Somehow so you couldn't relate people, to the Cosby Show. I can relate oh, that stemmed from the Cosby Show. That's true. But That's again, the Cosby Show was before my time. I didn't really watch it. Right. You was more of a Family Matters person, right? I didn't watch Family Matters either. What did you watch? It was like your black family. <laughs> That's my black family. The Hughleys? <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, Fuck no. <laughs> Fuck no. I don't even think he's funny. Ooh, Gail Hughley? And that's another thing, too. This whole, okay. Um, I watched the Bernie Mac show. Um, okay, let's go back into this camp. So, this camp, well, this, this. Did you see the thing with AJ? What happened? AJ from Assistant Park, how he got, how he was on extra, and then he had to leave because they had to do his investigation, they did an investigation. They fired him, and now the stuff that's coming out, I heard about with Free, that's why she left the show, because of some stuff. And I'm just like, AJ from, like, that was like a, he was so gentle, so. <laughs> and it, and it's funny how somebody that's gentle can be a sexual predator. <laughs> I mean, but that's how black and, I mean, it's not black and white. There's gray area. There can be a humanitarian. That's also a fucking child molester. It's a rapist, yep. Yep, and uh, your, the most common trait of that or preachers. example is that is in, you know, Catholic Church, to me. But anyway. Okay. So any, you, you guys didn't want to address anything else more on that? No, something more. I think that's, that's that on that. That's that on that. That's that on that.